Okay, welcome back. And today we're going to use a calculator. Okay, um, so it's good to know how to use a calculator. We could solve, right? So we could solve equations like this. Okay, so we can easily graph, um, or not graph, but we could solve this algebraically, okay, using what we know. Okay, so solving for x. Um, Let's see here. Yeah, so we could solve this for x algebraically. Well, not necessarily at this time. But what I want to show you is on the calculator how to solve equations like this. Now, again, we're not going to um, use this as a crutch. But I want to show you how to do it. Okay, because it is, it is handy. Uh, but again, you'll, you will have to be responsible for knowing how to do this algebraically as well. So I'm going to show you the steps, okay? Um, I'm not going to write out the steps. I'm going to show you, so pay attention, take notes, because it's really, really easy once you, once you see. So I'm going to use this as an example. So I want to solve this for x graphically, okay? So I've got 42 is equal to this, and I want to solve for x graphically, and I'm going to round to the nearest thousand, okay? So I'm going to go out to three decimal places, okay? How do I do that? Um, well, I'm going to do this using two equations on the calculator. I'm going to plot two graphs, actually, because I know um, I could call. Let me let me go a little further here. Um, I can define both sides of the equal both sides of the equal sign. As a, as a different function, right? So I can say that this is f of x, right? And f of x is equal to 42. And so um, that's what I'm saying. So I've got this function over here, but I can also treat this one as a constant function. g of x, and I'm finding, hey, where these two functions are equal. Well, if I graph this function, that's just going to be a constant function, so it's going to be a horizontal line. And if I graph this function, well, this is just going to give me another curve, right? And if I want to find where they're equal, then, then basically I'm solving a system of two equations, and I'm effectively finding where those two graphs intersect. So that's what I'm going to do on my calculator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my function and I'm going to give both of these a y number because these are y values. So I'm going to have one function be y1 and the other function be y2. And I'm going to graph them. Oops. I'm going to graph them and then uh, use the calculator to find where they intersect. Okay, so let's do that. <coughs> So the first thing you do, I'm going to come up here and show you. So the first thing you're going to do on this is, this is a TI-84. Uh, you could do this on an 83. I'm assuming an 86 as well. But again, um, Google is your friend if you have something that's uh, not like this. Okay. So in this case here, I'm going to go to the Y equals key right here. And I'm going to push Y equals. And so here are all my Y's that I can choose from. So the first one is Y1. And I'm going to make that equal to... The left side. So I'm going to make that equal to 42. So y1 equals 42. And I'm going to make the second, the right side, equal to that. So I'm going to y2 is going to equal this whole thing. So I'm going to type this whole thing into the calculator. So give me one second. Okay, so one thing here I want to show you. So here I got y2 equals 1.2, and then I have times 5, and then I hit the caret here, 
right here to get the exponent and then to put the X up there all I do is hit this key here that has these variables and each variable depends on what mode you're in so I'm gonna hit this and it'll put an X right up there okay and so to get out of the X to get out of the X you just hit the arrow key here and it puts you back down and so now I'm gonna have plus 2.8 and I'm gonna hit enter and so now here are my two um, graphs, my two equations I'm going to graph. Now, so now here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to have to adjust my window because my Y has to be up by 40, 42 and I have to figure out what uh, this is going to be. So if I'm close to zero, um, then this is going to be close to, let's see what, 1.2 times uh, well that's just going to be so it'll be 1.2 plus 2.8 so it'll be right there so I'm going to have to adjust my my window here uh, because if I don't I'm not going to be able to see where they intersect so to adjust your window just go to window here okay and then you can adjust your oh, you can adjust your minimum x value your maximum x value I'm not going to worry about scale right now and then you can adjust your minimum y and your maximum y value okay <clears throat> so I'm going to leave the x's alone uh, for the moment Okay, so here's what I did. I uh, changed my X min. Um, I, I left it alone. I left my X's alone, but I changed my Y uh, max to 45, and I changed my Y min to zero, since I know it's not going to be negative, um, because the asymptote is going to be um, above the X axis, so I know it's, I'm fine that way. So now if I hit graph, this is what I got. So see up here where it intersects? Okay, so um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna adjust my window a little bit more to focus in on that point right there. Another great feature is to use the uh, zoom in option under zoom. So if you go to zoom here, you can go to zoom in, hit enter, and then you can put the cursor up by where you want to zoom in at. So I'm going to move it up to right where it's, the intersection is located. And I'm going to hit zoom. Okay, so now that's where I have my intersection. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the calc function. So I'm going to go to um, 
calc here, second calc. So I'm going to hit second calc and now I'm going to use the intersection. So I want to find the, where the intersect, right? So because I'm finding the x value, I want to look there for the x value. So I'm going to use 5 as the result. And now it's going to ask me what's the first curve. So I'm going to put my cursor on the first curve that's already on there. So that's going to be the first curve. So I'm going to hit enter. That's the first curve. And then it's going to go to the next curve and that's my second curve because that's those are the two curves I'm interested in. And now they want me to, where's my guess? Where's the intersection? So I'm going to move my cursor up to where I think the intersection is located. So once I'm close to it, then I'm just going to hit enter. And now it puts the cursor there and notice at the bottom it says x equals what? 2.1661. Okay, so if I round to the nearest thousandth, it's going to be 2.166. Okay, and so when, so that gives me my answer. So that's my x value, right? So they wanted me to solve for x, and based on that, x is approximately equal to 2.166. And so let me see if that's what they got here. Yes, that's what they got. Okay, and that's how you use your calculator. That's it. It's that easy. Let me see if there's anything else. Nope, that's it. Have a great day.